Hi everyone who is joining, whether in person or on the replay, the recording. Um, what we're going to be talking about today is introducing to you our Master Your Metabolism 10-Day Challenge. And we have done this previously, but it's something that um, is good to do like once a quarter anyway, just to kind of jumpstart your body and to get it back on track. And I thought, especially now, um, which I'm recording this in April uh, 2020, and um, you know, with all the global concerns that are happening and people are at home more, um, and maybe we're either stress eating or just tired of cooking and kind of lazy eating, then uh, we are maybe not always making the best choices because I know I'm not. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just a tickle. Um, so we're gonna talk about the Master Your Metabolism Challenge. And if you don't know who I am, if someone shared this video with you, my name is Linda Karshner and I'm a silver wellness advocate with doTERRA. And basically what that means is that I love to educate people about doTERRA products and help them to get those at the best price possible and teach them how to do the same thing for their friends and family as well. Can you take it? Yeah. Thank you. It's a good thing I have an assistant. <laughs> I, I have a Corona refugee with me and she's very helpful. Um, so we're just going to go over like just kind of a big overview of what the Master Your Metabolism Challenge is. It is a 10 day program and I do have it loaded into um, Family Wellness Oils Public Education, but I may be taking it down from there and putting it in our members uh, group or in a separate group or something. Um, but anyway, it is in there now if you want to go and look at it if you're a part of that. And if you're not um, a part of my group, Family Wellness Oils Public Education, um, go ahead and join that. That is on Facebook. It's free. It's open to everyone who is interested in doTERRA oils. And you can be someone who is on another team or someone who is thinking about being a part of doTERRA and is working with someone else, um, or you can be on my team and, and someone that I've contacted. It doesn't matter. The, the public education group is for anybody and everybody who loves doTERRA. So I just like to you know get the word out there and be able to share with people all of these gifts that uh, God has given us through his earth. So the Master Your Metabolism Challenge, like I said, is a 10-day challenge. There will be two posts every day for you to take a look at. And you can, I think I actually kind of posted them at the same time in the last time we did it. Um, so you don't have to get on Facebook twice a day. Um, and if, if you know someone who... Um, is not on Facebook, but would like to be a part of this, let me know and I can uh, work it out to maybe send this in an email so that they would be able to go over all of the information as well. Um, so first of all, we'll talk about like, what is your metabolism? How do hormones affect metabolism? Um, and everything seems to be happening. Um, my son is calling. So, and of course, I think my husband left, so he can't get the phone. And this particular son will call a million times. All right, hold on, I'm gonna pause the recording. Okay, so we will talk about metabolism. We'll talk about water intake. Um, we will talk about um, uh, everything from how we talk to ourselves to what kinds of foods we choose to eat. 
but this master your metabolism is not a diet plan. We're not, what we're not going to do, we're not going to be talking about like you should be following the paleo diet or you should be counting calories or, you know, you should be drinking cabbage soup which I don't think you should do, but um, we're, we're not going to be talking about exactly what you should eat. So I, I don't know if you guys are like me, you know what you need to do with healthy eating and what you need to figure out what works for you. Um, we're finding out that the paleo keto is not really working for my husband. Like we, we had done Atkins years ago and it worked really well for us. Um, and we've done paleo and that's been okay. Did keto half-heartedly and it just, it's just not working. I, I just, I don't know. I think I just didn't research it enough or whatever, but you know, find an eating program that works for you and focus on that. Um, however, we will talk about the fact that there are some things like the, the big three that you should avoid during this time. And the one thing is alcohol. And, and that's mainly because there's a lot of empty calories in alcohol. Um, then also sugar and again, empty calories and if um if you've ever seen any comments or scientific studies they say that the chemical molecule makeup of sugar is just like one molecule away from cocaine so it's easy to see why it's so addictive and it's definitely my nemesis my downfall and then the other thing is processed food and that can be very challenging to avoid that um, but trying to cook maybe the way our grandmas cooked more, um, and cooking more whole foods and, you know, maybe instead of, um, like, a a, a broccoli vegetable combo in some kind of sauce to just have the the cook the frozen broccoli or even the fresh broccoli and maybe use a little bit of butter, some salt. I, I like to use pink salt. Um, so things like that, like not so many prepared sauces and cookies and crackers and things like that. Um, so that's like really the only eating food kinds of parameters that we talk about in this challenge. Um, but you know, we are going to talk a lot about um, like proper supplementation, water intake, um, and just you making your own healthy food choices. Um, okay, so I do have a PowerPoint, so let's see if I can um, get that up here. Let me. That here, okay, this doesn't want to do it, wrong one, okay. Got to share my screen first, I'm so good at this. Share screen, there we go. And now, do that, all right, that's better. So that was kind of our welcome. So this is how some of us may feel when we cut sugar and carbs from our diet. Like we will eat anything that we can. We, you know, get a little bit crazy. So that's where our adaptive will come in. And we'll talk about our adaptive uh, blend here in a little bit. So what I want you to do right now, even though we're not doing the assessment right now, even though we're not doing the challenge right now, just take a minute and read through this. If you have a pen and paper handy, um, then you can jot it down or just make a mental note. Um, rate yourself on a scale of from one to five. 
one being never me and five being always me. Number one, I wake feeling rested and have a good night's sleep. So one is never me. Two, three, four, five is always me. I wake feeling rested and have a good night's sleep. Number two, I hardly ever suffer from anxious thoughts and seldom have stress. Well, you know, when, we're, when we get started with this, oh, and I forgot to mention that we're actually going to start this 10-day challenge on April the 13th. That is a Monday, right? Yeah, April the 13th. Uh, that way it gives people time to place their loyalty rewards order and get their products in hand so that they will have the oils and the supplements that they need to do this. Um, so, uh, you know, maybe by the time we actually start the 10 day challenge until we finish it, we might have a less stress in the world. So that may help that number as well. So number one was I wake feeling rested and have a good night's sleep. Number two, I hardly suffer from anxious thoughts and seldom have stress. Number three, my digestive system works well and I seldom suffer from digestive discomforts. One is never me, so that means your digestive system is in constant turmoil. Um, two, three, four, up to five is always me, so that means your digestive system is happy, happy, happy all the time. Number four, I have energy and vitality throughout the day. One is never me. Five is always me and, you know, somewhere in between. Like if you have energy and vitality when you wake up in the morning and then you kind of fizzle out in the afternoon and then get your second wind in the evening, which is me, then you're probably like about a three. So last but not least, I feel good about myself regardless of how my body looks. So self-image, self-talk, is a really big factor in how well we do with mastering our metabolism. I feel good about myself regardless of how my body looks. So you can kind of look through that, you know, do you have a lot of ones, a lot of fives, a lot of in between, and the areas where you have fives, um, congratulations, that is amazing. Um, even a four is fantastic. But if you have like ones, twos, and threes, then those are the areas that maybe um, you kind of want to focus a little extra time on during this. So, you know, that is something that we'll do during the, uh, the Master Your Metabolism Challenge. And then we take that assessment at the end of the 10 days again. So we actually have some parameters to say, okay, you know, it, am I doing better in... Uh, you know, maybe number three, my digestive system, because I've been taking some of the supplements and I've been eating uh, less sugar. So my digestive system is, has bumped up from like a two to a four or even hopefully a five. So that way you'll have, you know, kind of a little self-assessment and you can share that during the master your metabolism challenge. If you want to, you can share your results, but you don't have to. Um, that's up to you. So that was kind of the challenge overview. Um, so um, one of the other things that I mentioned that we will be talking about, oops. Um, I've gotten ahead of myself. And my niece is laughing at me. Gee whiz. That's at the end, okay. Let's go back to this, this. Okay. So then the next thing, let me try to do this a different way. Getting quality rest. Um, 
and this is something that most of you know about me already. I sleep fine once I finally get to bed. It's just getting to bed that is the issue because I have so many things that I like to do. So my goal for getting quality rest is to go to bed at 11 o'clock every night. Well, during this time when we're all quarantined and stuff and my son doesn't have to get up at 7.30 in the morning to go to school, I don't have to get up at 7.30. So I'm staying up till one, two, three and watching movies and, and just enjoying this quarantine time. So uh, we'll see what happens for that uh, when we get this started on April 13th. Um, so then let's see. Each day there will be a daily overview. Um, and it, you know, one of the things that we'll talk about when we're talking about relaxing is also talking about detoxing and um, how that can affect our bodies. But we'll talk about that a little bit more later. So then what do we do when cravings strike? That would be um, on day three, we'll talk about that. So all of us crave different things and it seems like the things that we crave are the things that we should have the least. Like I have a friend who craves salty stuff and she has high blood pressure. I crave sweet stuff and I have a weight problem. So, you know, it just seems like that there's probably some sort of deficiency going on in our bodies that is causing us to crave that and causing us to, to trigger um, those kinds of physical concerns. So um, here's some ideas for oils for appetite control. So you can write this down if you want to. Um, oils for appetite control include grapefruit, um, which I'm out of, I'm sad to say. Um, and my husband, like I said, he's trying to eat healthy. So we bought him a big bag of grapefruit at Sam's Club yesterday. And he was eating one this morning. And I said, There's a not, there is not enough sugar in the world to make me like grapefruit. Because I do not like grapefruit. I do not like grapefruit juice but I love our grapefruit oil. And the fact that it helps control the appetite and boost the metabolism is a win, win, win. So also oils for appetite control, besides grapefruit, lemon, and we should be drinking that in our water a couple of times a day anyway, slim and sassy, bergamot, peppermint, spearmint, and basil. So a really nice combination is um, spearmint and wild orange. They didn't mention wild orange here, but that's, that's um, wild orange is good for everything. So, um, so you can just drink those in your water. You can diffuse those. You can use those topically, um, you know, all the usual ways you can use um, those really nice citrus oils. Okay, so then we will go on to day four and there will be a challenge on that day to take a brisk walk. And again, just like the um, eating plan, this program does not say that you have to do, you know, X, Y, Z exercise routine but it does make recommendations for you to move every day. And there will be some links to some YouTube videos for um, some exercise, for some like yoga kinds of meditation type things. Um, and there's suggestions, but just the overall recommendation is moving at least 20 minutes a day. So it helps us, um, with our metabolism and it helps us with our emotions. And hopefully by the time we're running this challenge, we can actually get outside and do some movement and you know, take that walk outside and get some natural sunlight and stuff like that. So what happens when we have emotions that maybe are a bit overwhelming or um, the stress is there, the stress makes us not want to eat right, not want to take that walk. 
we can use essential oils to help support our bodies to get us back in a better frame of mind so that we will actually want to um, do the things that we know are healthy, that deep down inside we want to do, but our emotions are standing in the way. Um, the other thing about stress is that it produces cortisol, which causes us to hold fat in our thighs and in our bellies. So if, you know, that is an indication of how much stress you have, I have a lot of stress. So one of the things that you can do with the adaptive is to put it in a roller ball. You can buy it in as the adaptive touch. Um, and I actually recommend getting the, the set of adaptive. It has the, the supplement, the oil that you see here on the screen, and it also has the roller bottle. And it's cheaper that way. And then you can diffuse the adaptive that's in this regular bottle. You can take the supplements, you can carry the roller bottle with you, roll it on anytime you need it, whether you're at work or, um, you know, just going to the grocery store anymore can cause stress. So, um, you know, that, that is a great way to have the adaptive available for you. Um, so here's some stress relief tips. Take out your adaptive oil and put a drop in your hands. Cut, rub your hands together, cup your hands over your nose and mouth, and slowly inhale for five to ten slow and meditative breaths. Take notice of the thoughts entering your mind and let them go if they are negative, knowing they are not serving you. You may also use your adaptive roller and apply it over pulse points for additional support and stress relief. Um, makes a lovely smelling perfume. Can't beat that. Um, okay, so then for day five, that will actually be on a Friday. So you need to make a plan for your weekend. And I am guilty of not doing this, um, whether it's planning what you eat, planning what you're going to do to get that extra exercise in, um, maybe, you know, doing something with your family, going outside. And one of the suggestions that we have is to use deep blue rub both before and after you exercise. And if you haven't been used to exercising, like I'm not, um, sometimes you get some discomfort. So deep blue rub before you exercise can help uh, your endurance and your circulation. And then using it again after you exercise is also helpful and make sure that you are keeping track of your water intake. So just a rule of thumb is that we should be drinking half our body weight in ounces of good pure water. So if you weigh 150 pounds, which I think I weighed in sixth grade, I don't know, uh, then you should be drinking 75 ounces of water a day throughout the day. Don't chug it, you know, space it out throughout the day. Um, so, um, you know, and I wouldn't drink more than a gallon because you can drink too much water um, and then your minerals get kind of flushed out. If so don't drink more than a gallon, but we probably all need to be drinking more water than what we actually are. And I've done the best um, at making sure I get my water intake in when I actually measure it out at the beginning of the day. And then, you know, if I put it in a pitcher or whatever, then I can pour it into my glass, add my essential oils. And then it's like an actual physical reminder of, oh yeah, I need to be drinking the rest of the water that's in this pitcher. And so I need to make sure I'm staying on top of that. Okay, so talking just a little bit about you are what you eat. Um, so what you feed your body fuels your body. If you fill it up with processed chemical-based or enzyme-deficient foods, your body will become stuck and will protect itself by storing all of those harmful ingredients in fat cells. The body is smarter than we realize, and it knows what is toxic to itself. 
When we don't eat enough whole, living, plant-based foods that are rich in what nourishes our very body down to the cells, it will think it's starving, even though you may feel full, like you can fill up on Twinkies and Fritos, but your body will say, I'm starving for nutrients. And it will store fat as a way of having reserves and protection until nutrients are found. So that's why we need to pay attention to what we're snacking on, what we're eating, and also the supplements that we're taking. Lifelong Vitality and Terrazyme uh, are two supplements. Well, Lifelong Vitality is a, a pack of supplements, a three pack. And Terrazyme supplement um, helps to flood our body with bioavailable nutrients that can recognize and digest and nourish the body, which will help us burn excess fat and rebalance our whole body systems. So one of the things too that you'll find in this 10 day challenge are some suggestions for some more healthy snacks. Um, so that's always a good thing to have. It's not a requirement, it's just a suggestion. And I think, um, some people tried some of the, the healthy snacks the last time we ran this, and um, they actually enjoyed them. Okay, so now we're on to uh, day six, which will be Saturday of the 10-day um, the challenge, and the importance of self-talk. So we often self-sabotage with negative body image and self-talk. So one of the things that we will do is we will journal about how we are feeling during the challenge and release some of the negative thoughts and beliefs that we have. We need to forgive ourselves for not being perfect. I mean, we may look at people who, um, you know, have 15% body fat and they're, lean and they run three miles a day or 10 miles a day or whatever. And, um, you know, we kind of are envious and we beat ourselves up and say, oh, you know, I should be doing that. But we need to forgive ourselves for not being perfect and focus on what we can do instead of what we haven't done. So we're looking to the future and we're hopefully trying to develop some new routines that can help us to um, feel better about ourselves and to make better choices. So one of the choices that we make every day are personal care products. And, um, you know, we may not think that what we use on our hair affects our body weight, and um, I saw this funny meme one time, and it said, was something about, I use a full body shampoo, and then I rinse and repeat, and as that goes all over my body, I think that's what's happening to give me such a full body or something like that. So I'm not talking about a full body shampoo, I'm talking about the chemicals that are in our personal care products. Um, our skin is the largest organ of our body and absorbs almost everything that we put on it every day. One of the key ingredients that will give you an indication that you're using a toxic product is if the ingredient says fragrance. Fragrance is actually um, something that the personal care product industry has lobbied to be able to put on the back of their ingredients, on the back of their bottles, and it can include a multitude of chemical, chemically produced fragrant ingredients, and they don't have to list all of those ingredients, even though those ingredients can be very toxic to your body. So they can just put fragrance and um, then they're covered. They've listed the ingredients, but they're not telling you that what is in that heading is actually very toxic substances. 
So these ingredients can mimic estrogens in the body and contribute to higher risks of certain cancers and metabolic disruption. So we're trying to master our metabolism. That metabolic disruption is going to be working against us. So that's why we take the phytoestrogen supplement every day because it's helping to our estrogen levels to be returned to like a homeostasis. Um, it's, it's what we call a modifier. If you, like I'm estrogen dominant, which has worked well for me in some ways and against me in other ways. And um, so, you know, the phytoestrogens moder modulate. If you need more estrogen, it's going to meet that need. If you need less estrogen, it's going to meet that need. So for a challenge for that day, it will be to clean out medicine cabinets, um, drawers, uh, bathroom closets, wherever you have your personal care and beauty products. And um, you can go to a website called EWG, which stands for Environmental Working Group. And you can scan the products that are in your cabinet and see how toxic they are. And then you can decide, you know, if they're like a, a two or three or four on the toxic level, then maybe you're like, okay, that's not too bad. I can keep that. But if it's six, seven, eight, ten, 10, then you probably want to just throw it out. Um, and doTERRA does have some amazing uh, shampoo, conditioner, um, skincare products that you can use to replace um, just about anything that you have in your cabinet. We don't have makeup and from our understanding we won't ever get that because it's a very um, intensive uh, manufacturing and inventory kind of situation and doTERRA really wants to focus on um, the essential oils and you know more of the health and wellness. So there are some some clean makeups out there right now. I'm still using my old stuff um, and so but since I don't wear a lot of makeup usually just when I'm doing a live. Um, so then um, for a, we'll do a Sunday check-in and then I did not do this the last time. Um, I wasn't, I didn't take the time. I wasn't brave enough, so, but I've been hearing about this slim and sassy body wrap ever since I started with doTERRA. So what you do is you put um, in a four ounce spray bottle, slim and sassy, and then um, some other optional oils if you have them, like eucalyptus, peppermint, grapefruit, lavender, clary calm, winter green. So you put those in the spray bottle, um, or you can put them in the unscented body lotion, and you can, um, I mean, the whole, it goes into a whole bunch of details. So you apply your oil mixture to the area of concern, like let's say your belly, which is what I would do first, and then you, put cotton fabric or paper towel all over that area um, because then you're going to put plastic wrap on. It's like saran wrap. And then you wrap around the cotton like three or four layers and you leave it on for a few hours or overnight and then remove it. And But you should measure that area first before you do all that and then measure afterward to see like if you have detoxified that area and if it has gotten a little bit smaller. <laughs> you also want to drink lots of water with lemon oil before and after the treatment. <coughs> Excuse me, talking too much. So I will post that and you don't have to write that down or remember all that. I will post that in the, in the challenge. Okay, so should be interesting. So then we'll be back to a Monday um, and we'll kind of take a moment to reflect on how the week has gone and if we're accomplishing our goals or if we need to kind of jumpstart ourselves. Again, you know, forgive ourselves if we haven't done it perfectly and know that we have three more days left of the challenge to, um, you know, just tweak a few things. 
So then what we'll do on that Monday is we will love our livers. But we want to be doing this all week, um, rolling the Zendikern roller uh, twice a day to support and detox the liver and just reboot your whole system. Um, so basically on uh, that Monday, we'll just be talking about why it's so important to support our liver. And then on Tuesday, um, it's a time to just kind of reflect on the positives that have happened and just the fact that, you know, if you tried one new snack or one of the um, water recipes, you know, you put some, some fruit and some oils in your water to enjoy it a little bit more. Celebrate any successes that you have. And you also want to think a little bit about what is in your water. Um, if you have city water, I recommend using some kind of filter to help remove uh, the chlorine. Uh, we don't have fluoride in our water here where I live, but you actually um, should not be drinking fluoride because it is toxic. And so you want some kind of filtration system that helps to take out the contaminants and also helps your body or your water to be like a little bit on the um, slightly alkaline side. Okay, and then that will be a wrap. That will be day 10. Um, you'll retake the vitality assessment and decide you know what you want to do from there so um one of the things that's recommended and i know that mary and jesse did this um they did the 30-day cleanse after the 10-day uh, metabolism challenge master your metabolism so they both had really good results from that so here's your shopping list. These are the things that you're going to need. And this is the reason why I am getting this started now just for information's sake so that you can place a loyalty order and get stocked up on the things that you need to have for the challenge. And if you don't already have a doTERRA wholesale account and you're not working with someone else, then you can message me and I will be glad to get you started on that. Um, and that way you can do this challenge with us and have all the supplements that you need in order to make this the most efficient uh, experience possible. So we need the Lifelong Vitality Pack, which has our vitamin and mineral complex, our omega complex, and our antioxidant complex. We need Terrazyme which is only $20 when you add it onto a loyalty rewards program order of LLV. And, we, and that's our digestive enzyme. Also a probiotic, which is PB Assist. And that's also $20 when you add it onto the LLV. And we need Serenity Soft Gels to help with sleeping at night. The Phytoestrogen Lifetime Complex, which I mentioned a little bit ago the Slim and Sassy Oil, the Zendocrine Oil, and the Adaptive Oil. Then other items that you'll need are a glass or stainless steel water bottle, that's for drinking your water every day, empty roller bottles, which you can use 10 or five milliliter, each, whichever one you want, fractionated coconut oil. So like when you take the Slim and Sassy oil, the Zendocrine oil, the Adaptive oil, you should have uh, probably at least three roller bottles so that you can do a Slim and Sassy uh, roller bottle to roll on your belly and on your feet. The Zendocrine, you wanna roll that on your feet every day. And then the Adaptive, you can make your own roller bottle or if you bought the set, you will have uh, an Adaptive touch already. And then Epsom salt is um, for the day when we're doing the, like the extra detox, uh, love your liver, I think it was. You can either do an Epsom salt bath or you can just do like a foot bath, like get a dish pan and use Epsom salts and um, the detoxifying oils to soak your feet. 
then you will be getting um, a workbook to go along with this and it will have like a list and I don't have mine right here handy with me. Let me stop my share and I think I pulled it up here. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Yeah, here's the workbook. <clears throat> So Mary knows what this looks like because she has one. And one of the recommendations that I made to folks when we did this the last time was you only probably want to print this out once. I don't know, unless you have an unlimited amount of ink in your printer. Um, but it costs about $10 to have it printed like at a local print shop. So, um, so what I recommend is that you put once you get it printed, however you do it, if you do it yourself on your own printer or take it somewhere, <clears throat> you'll get the file, not the actual workbook. Um, and then you can put it in plastic sheet protectors. And as you are going through your daily um, checklist, each one of the daily checklists looks the same as this, except like here, it'll say check into Facebook support group, read posts, you know, on day two, it'll be two, day three, it'll be three, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it'll be pretty much the same as this. So you print this out and then you can fill in a little water drop every time you drink an eight ounce glass of water. Well, I need more than that. So, you know, I may do like a tally mark or something like that. So then it tells you in the morning which supplements to take, at lunch which ones to take, at dinner which ones to take and which oils to use before bed. It gives um, a recommendation to turn off, that should be off, not of, turn off devices 30 to 60 minutes before bed. Again, I'm guilty of not doing that. Diffusing uh, your sleepy time oils, whatever that is for you. Take a Serenity soft gel, take a Terrazyme, and not with food. And we'll talk about that um, during the, the challenge about why we don't do it with food. And then try a healthy recipe, etc. So that's what that is. Um, so you'll get the file for that workbook and it will have the guidelines. It has the things to avoid and it has the shopping list. So you'll have it handy, the one that I was just showing you. And then here's some suggested um, foods that are good for people to eat and um you know one of the things that they say is to try and avoid dairy but you know just kind of limit it to um you know like some greek yogurt some cream cheese or sour cream in your choice of milk if if you prefer dairy milk or almond milk or whatever it's your choice um and then some uh Fish, seafood, uh, chicken are what they tend to recommend for our protein. And then there are these, uh, the recipes. So there's several different ones. These are mainly recipes for snacks. Um, so I'm just going through them kind of quick. I think this creamy avocado dip looks good. So there's some ideas for snacks. And um, so, it, you know, it's all an all encompassing kind of um, uh, challenge, except if you want a lot of direction about what to eat and how to exercise, then um, this, this challenge doesn't do that, but it gives like big kind of overarching principles that can really help us to master our metabolism. So that is it. That's the overview for Master Your Metabolism, the 10 day challenge. And like I said, we're going to start on, on April 13th. And um, 
So if you're interested and you don't already have the link to the workbook, just let me know and you, you know, either private message me or post it in one of my groups and I will get you hooked up with that link and then you can figure out how you want to print it out and we will get started on April 13th and I will let you know where I'm going to be posting each day if I'm doing a new group or what I'm doing. I think I might do a new group because even though some people don't recommend that, I like having it in that specific group so people can find it more easily and um, they don't have to sift through the content on like my regular page or whatever. So, all right, that is it. Thanks for joining me. Um, God bless and have an oily day.